All right, I just pulled up to Captain Charlie Thomason's Silverside Lodge here in Hopedale, Louisiana. The fishing's been really good down here, particularly for redfish, and that is what I think is gonna be the target today. But when Charlie and I fish together, there's no telling what we might target. But I know this, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I always enjoy fishing with Charlie. He's an excellent, excellent angler. So come along with us and let's see what happens. <laughs> Charlie and I have pulled up to a flat that's been holding a bunch of fish for him. That's the good news. The bad news is the tide is completely dead. Now we do have a big tide range today. It's just not moving right now. We're at the, what is this, Charlie, the bottom of the fall? This is the bottom of the fall. It's about We're, to start rising. It's starting to rise barely right now. I just saw it in the crab traps. So I would think probably in an hour, it'll be coming in hard. I mean, it's, it, there's a huge tide range right now. And with that, you have to play the tides. So we could have ran a little south but we would have encountered the hardest part of the tide early. So I wanted to catch where we're getting it just and the tide's moving up to the, you know, the height of it. And that's the best way to find the tide, if you, you know, and to fish it. You don't want to get there where it's like at its hardest. You want to catch it where it's just starting to like midway. So our timing's good, but we might have to wait it out just a little bit till this tide, you know, kind of picks up its pace a little bit. I'm starting with the Echo 1.75 and Gold Shad. You know, I love this bait. And Charlie's throwing a top water. What is that? A, sh a she dog? Or a I got a. Uh, this is a sea eyes, and this is that chartreuse um, sea eyes. You know, top water by Mira Lure. Awesome bait. Uh, it's one of my go tos. Uh, I really like this bait. The she dog I like a lot better for trout. We're gonna be fishing some redfish. It's got a little bit uh, lower uh, frequency bait uh, sound to it. You know, it's not that real high 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 sound but this bait right here is a very big go-to for me for redfish and trout but really for redfish at low frequency i think that's a big deal awesome all right let's see what happens stupid throwing trouble hook baits with no sunglasses this episode of Marshman man mess on is brought to you by publia sporting goods yeah, at school when we were hitting them, mm -hmm. they were over. They were like in here. Mm -hmm. They left here. We followed them. They went here. They went across to there, <laughs> and then they went over to that flat and they went into the flat. And, and you I just chased them the whole time. Huh? And we just kind of pecked off of them right. the whole time. The guys loved it. Right, of course. I let each one of them get up. They were all able to get up. They got up on the console, stood up there to see them. To see them, you know. And they were like, "This is unbelievable." I'm like, it's "Freaking awesome," because they would. One person, like I got up there, because I'm running the trolling mode and I could see him, you know? Uh -huh. And then I, I would say, all right, who's next? You got to get up there and tell us when they, you know, where they come up. Dude, gulp baits? Mm-hmm. Trash now. Trash now? Trash now. What do you mean? They're just freaking falling apart. They now. changed them? Yeah, they changed something. They're not the same huh. at all. I hadn't heard that. Hold on the hook. They don't even, you know how they used to shrink when you leave them on your hook? Uh -huh. They don't? They hardly do that anymore. Making a move. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. You gotta be kidding. What? You think it's a cat? I don't know. I can't tell. He is digging. Oh, we'll on. never know. It's actually a good little fish. It felt like catfish at first. Look, look. Bait already screwed up. I'm telling you, dude, nothing like it used to be. I don't ever, ever, ever fish gulp. What? I don't. Dude. I don't ever. Never. I'm telling you right now. I've fished it in years. Dude, trash. Now I gotta hook it up like some stupid way on Right. <laughs> so I can get us another one, folks. Might have been a big uh, freshwater cat. Could have been. We've been catching some good ones. It wasn't a light. Oh, look at you. It wasn't a light, uh, it wasn't a light fish, you know. Now the bait doesn't oh, have God. my tail. <laughs> that looks like just like a chunk of meat on there. Like a cigarette. He looks like a cigarette. That's pretty good. I got me old cigarette bait on here. Even though I stopped smoking when I was four. <laughs> when you were four. I still kept all the cigarettes. I mean, you are from Chalmette. Because I knew that... Uh, they, you come out the womb smoking in Chalmette, uh, huh? Yeah. I know. I'm just a little fishing guy. I'm trying to catch a redfish today. <laughs> oh, a little bobble. Was that a little bump? A little bobble. All right, a little six-inch hardhead. There he is. Oh, let's see what he is. Get him. 
I think, I think he's hard headed. <laughs> kind of feeling it? Yep, he's digging. Yeah. He's digging. Oh, yeah, he's staying down good. People don't target them enough. You want to put it in the box and take him home and eat him? No, I wasn't going to keep fish today, but I think you're going to off him. I got a foot right. jack here. You want to take him off or you got him? Uh, I'll do it. I'll just hand one, too. Hand right when I lift away. Could have, Double. could have had a hard head of your own. Dude, I tell you, this is not a bad hard head. No, he's nice. Yeah. Oh, you got him? Sir. You got him? Oh. Mine's little. Oh, yeah. Trophy. I got a little bit of Yeah, that's what our wives say. I hear that a lot. Here, go ahead. Oh, he took your gulp too. Took my gulp. Just, just what you were saying. Redfish? I think so. Oh, a stingray. One or the other. A stingray on your gulp? Nice redfish. On my gulp. On the hunt. Beautiful fish. I mean, he hit it right when it hit the water. You need a net? Can we net him? I'm good. All right. Beautiful fish, man. Gorgeous. Uh oh. On that gulp. And look, the funny thing about that is, is that. You know, we were just talking about it. You know, with the dirty water, and the dirty water came through. You know, the, the dirty water affects the fishermen and not the fish. We pull up right here, throw out. I mean, my cork literally hit the water and it was on, you know? Hopefully there's a bunch more right there. Popping cork, making that noise. You can tell he's uh, been in dirty water because he's yep. very nice and white. Yep. Good fish. All right, buddy. Yep. Woo! Nice. What is that? Nobody like to pull the rod out of my hand, Todd. Dude, he hasn't budged. Mm, That's a big in. fish. Oh, he's running hard, Todd. He's running hard. I saw those little minnows right, right there. Right, yeah, no doubt. A lot of bait. Really hard a lot of now. bait. The beaks in here. Another nice red fish. About the same size. He's just a little more aggressive. He is. But boy, look how pale he is. Because these fish that we've been catching in here have been like really copper color, beautiful. And then we had that real hard blow yesterday dirtied up the water and all of these fish just lightened up wow look at that todd that's awesome under a versamax cork you like that plastic versamax i, huh, I like I, I like that for the redfish i really do i like the the hybrid for the redfish and then the bolts for the trout but right. the bolt works just as good it's just that these you can pop them a little bit harder you all know right. all right gorgeous fish all we're right. not keeping fish today we're gonna let him go all right dude go swim back home he jumped out he's still aggressive dude i can't believe that fish I thought he was like 30 inches when, uh -huh. he, when he bit. Charlie was saying earlier, they kind of changed the formulation, or at least he thinks they did, of the gulp. They just don't stay on the hook as well as they used to. No, they break apart real easy. They used to be extremely durable. They're just not like that anymore. And they uh, kind of fall apart. I don't know what it is. They don't shrink on your hook like they used to. No more shrinkage. They're going to be anywhere from here to that little cubby right there. All right. On that freaking grass. Right on the grass. Right on it, brother. That's what the man you. says. Right nope, not that done. Not for the world, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. you know, the you need. You might have to, I usually tell everybody five feet out and reel in. So we're about five feet out. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Dude, there's no way your clients can cast that accurately. What? No, I do it for them. Yeah, of course. But I tell them that once they pull it, because they always reel. Right. Well, right. Why do people reel. want to do that? Dude, I'm like, don't reel. The guy yesterday was kind of getting aggravated with me. And one guy, he kept reeling, and I said, dude, you can't reel. Stop reeling. And he goes, well, I got to take up the slack. And I said, no, you don't. Just let the wind push it back. Got that nice orange jig head. Yep. Oh, there he is. Fish, fish. Fish, fish on. Oh, there we go. All right. He's coming through. Charlie and I made a switch to live shrimp. Because let yep. me tell you, the fishing's been tough today. Very tough. Really windy. Water's up. Milky. And uh, live shrimp, obviously, is paying off. Small keeper. Small keeper. Yeah, nice little. Got a lot Multi of spotted. spots on him. Yep. But, I mean, on tough days like this, Todd, I mean, everybody has days i mean what is this like a fifth fish or whatever yeah and i mean the thing is is that as a charter guide one of the things that i do is that i i always try to like resort back to 
the spots where I know fish normally every time I go there I'll catch two three four and then what happens is if you're a fisherman out there just like me being a guide if I can pick out five six of those spots I'm gonna end up catching a good bit of fish but I gotta work for it and just like today we gotta work for it we haven't used live bait we just started using it we got a fish so it may it just may end up being where they want live bait today because they're a little finicky because of whatever's going on with the weather yeah they're definitely finicky but uh I don't know things are looking up yeah pretty fish got a lot beautiful of fish spots, yep so. yep all right little dude let him go Let's go back and see your friend I'm gonna go get me another live shrimp I don't blame you there he is yep. there he is right there so where i was yep right there. good fish come on baby feels okay that the grass is in here so much that you yeah get sometimes kind of caught up in right. it and it's just like you can't feel until they get out he's all right might be a keeper borderline keeper oh, yeah, i think no, it's a keeper todd 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 mm. <laughs> i'm looking at oh, you man. trying to point my camera at your fish <laughs> Yeah, I bet he got my, but they're beautiful. These are all about 17, 18 inches, you know? Good ones. Live shrimp doing it. And we deepened up the corks a little bit, get down to the bottom. These fish don't want to be up high. Another awesome. This episode of Marsh Man Mass On is brought to you by H&H Lure Company. And by Community Motors. And by Delta Marina. And by Plaquemines Parish. And by Death Grip Jig Heads. He took it just like yours did, real slow. You know what I'm saying? Like he just, he just took it on the real, real slow. I thought it was a catfish, to be honest with you, at first, because it just kind of went down, like slow, just like that. There you go, lady fish. Oh, damn it! Perfect. Get him out of my way. Yep. Had to reel it anyway. Put my shrimp on. Good time. Oh, you reel the other way. I'm not gonna let you have it then. Thank you, buddy. Hey, look. I appreciate the offer, though. It's no, very well, kind. You know what? That's how I am. It's very dude. kind. I'm hoping. Considering I can't catch that a fish. He, whatever he's stuck on, he comes off of it. There he goes. I don't know what this is. Oh, no, it's a red. It's a red. He was stuck on something down there. I don't know what it was. Nice fish. Good awesome. keeper. Nice keeper. Look at that. Beautiful. So that's the kind you want yep, right there. That's the kind you want. It's kind of like the ones we caught earlier, but. But bigger, a little bit bigger, and that one's pretty, pretty orange, gorgeous fish. Gotta love it, y'all. I'm telling you. And the thing is, is that just changing up tactics, not getting impatient, makes the world a difference. I mean, you know, honestly, I think we, if really we're counting them, we're probably only about two or three, about three away Short from all limit. limit. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't great fishing, but I mean, you think about it too, it's not even 10 o'clock. Right. We're just so used to catching so fast. Really, we're having an awesome day. A tough day. Yeah. It's a lot better than anybody else's good day. That's right. That's but it was right. awesome. Awesome, awesome. No doubt. There he is. Oh, yeah. Nice one, Todd. Oh, now I need the net on this one. He's so big. <laughs> I don't know how big he is, but he's might be a sheep's head. Let's see. Multi. Nope. Nope. Redfish. Nope. Nice redfish. Super red. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I could do this all day long all day so your, your leader is like a lot longer than mine you think that's making that big a difference i don't know because i can't get a bite i can't well, I'm bring not your just cork like, in and then we'll check it. i'm just I think you're about right where you're at no i think i'm a lot shorter but it shouldn't matter we're fishing what one foot of water okay. it's your orange jig head just orange it's a trigger it's a trigger effect just let them know that something's there let's see okay there's mine Yep, I'm a little shorter. You're a little bit shorter. You want to go a little deeper? Can't make that big a difference, huh? You got a double shrimp on I'm it? I'm double shrimping it. Shrimp are a little little. Yeah, they are a little. All right, man, what a brutally tough day, at least for me. Charlie caught his limit and mine, but you know, I'm like the world's worst live shrimp fisherman. Definitely proved it today, but the fishing has been very good here. Things kind of changed up a little bit in the past two days, dirtied up the water. But better days are on the horizon. We saw a ton of white shrimp in the marsh. So believe me, where there's prey, particularly shrimp, there's gonna be predators and things are definitely looking up in this Hopedale area. Charlie, what's the immediate future hold? Well, I mean, just today was a little tough, but I'll be honest with you. We, we've got straight on summer fishing coming up right now. Today we saw tons of white shrimp moved into the marsh. So that's letting me know right now that the fish are right behind them coming in. 
Uh, it's not like fall fishing coming in, but a lot of those fish are going to start getting summertime patterns where in the evening, late in the evening, or early, early in the morning, those fish are going to be in ambush points just waiting for those shrimp to go in and out. And there's so many shrimp were huge. I mean, a lot of them. So they're going to pray is going to be out there. I'll be honest with you, majority of the fish are right along the coastline. They're not as far in as what we fish today. Most of them are going to be like on the edges of like $7 Bay and Bay LY over towards uh, Lake Machias and even in the Black Bay and Mozambique Point. All of those outer edges, that's where a lot of the fish are holding right now. So that's where I would fish if I was you. As we get into like, I guess that would be somewhere around like October-ish, then the fish will start moving in and we'll make that transition coming in from that point. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video anyway. Got something out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Master channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.